Hello motion graphics students, this is Mr. Simons. Uh, we're going to do a quick tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. We're going to use Illustrator to make the pictures that we're going to animate for the bouncing ball or squash and stretch activity that we planned out on paper. Here, so open up Adobe Illustrator. Remember this is one of the more complex programs out there. I suggest you watch lots and lots of tutorials to get into it and uh, don't need to participate in any surveys or anything at this point. The first thing that comes up in Illustrator is the workspace view. You get to see a bunch of tools that are available for you. Um, I like the painting workspace. Uh, there are a bunch of workspaces available. I suggest you play around with these. You can even customize this workspace for yourself. If you need to reset to where you were because you moved some things around, just hit reset. So if I so if I move some if I move some things around out here and have layers sitting out here instead of where it was, I can go to reset and it gets right back to where we were. So we're going to make a project here, and in order to make a project in Illustrator, you need a canvas out, and our canvases are started from up here. Hit new. Okay. The profile for the, for the canvas here is video and film. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones, print for paper, web for web pages, et cetera, et cetera. You wanna choose video and film, and the default widescreen's a good one. You can play around with this. I, I, I definitely encourage you to play around once you've got a good basic animation together. But uh, choose the default widescreen view here, and definitely name your project. Name it very simply with no numbers in it because we're going to use numbers later and you'll see why I did this. We're going to put all of these that we export into their own folder and the folder should have your name, the date, and what it is, the who, when, and what. And uh, so once we've got a name, we've got video and film, we've got widescreen, please confirm all three of those and hit OK. You can see a nice widescreen canvas comes up. It is transparent beneath but the first thing that we want to do is to make a nice background for our animation and we're starting on our base layer here let's go ahead and name all the layers as we go double click on that and there's our base and this is going to be a rectangle so we go to our rectangle tool here remember if you hold down on the tools it'll show you all the menu items that are available on each tool we want the rectangle tool for this one and I want to choose some color for this and I'm going to choose some bright green for my for my basic rectangle background here the base layer and I draw in the rectangle on the whole black background there and it does not need to be exact don't be too much of a perfectionist here you'll 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 have more fun if you try not to be absolutely perfect through the whole thing so we have our base layer um, and it looks good and that's going to fit really really well on iMovie if you don't make a base layer you may uh, you may export part of the part of the screen which will not fit really well on iMovie so we want a good rectangular widescreen base layer to get started and we lock this in place okay I'm going to make our second layer there's a little like a piece of cellophane in the old style animations like Snow White here so make a second layer let's name this one surface and this is going to be our bouncing surface, the surface that the ball bounces off of. Let's stick with the rectangle tool, choose another color, go dark blue on this one, and draw in another rectangle. There it is. That, that looks like a good bouncing surface. It's the right color. It's, it contrasts really well with the background. We really want to use contrasting colors for this. If, you, if you're getting creative and doing some other stuff, just make sure that, the, that you can see the colors and see the different shapes that are going on. Let's lock that one in place. Okay, locked. And another layer, and this is the layer for the ball. And these are all, these are all the layers you need for a very simple bouncing ball animation here. Now, in order to make a, a ball to get started with, we want to go up, hold down on the rectangle tool, and choose ellipse. Ellipse is how we make circles and ovals here. And we want to choose another color. I'm going to choose nice bright red here. And if you hold down the shift key, you can make a perfect circle. Okay. 
And uh, wow, that's pretty close to center there. I'm kind of lucky we can move that around. Now we want to get the grabby tool or the selection tool. I affectionately call it the grabby tool because it's what you use to grab things and move them around. And so get to the get to the selection tool here and move your circle to the very top center here. And this is our starting image. This is the very first image we're going to export. This is the start of the bouncing ball. If you want, you can start it off screen a little bit too. I'm going to go ahead and just start it at the top here. And we're going to export our first image. So you go to export. Make sure that it's on PNG, Portable Networking Graphic here. And I want to open this up because I really want to make a new folder for this. I'm going to my home folder and I'm going to make a new folder there. And who, when, and what, there, create the folder. And now uh, we're going to save this as MS Anime number one. Okay, so this is the first export here. Okay, and just take the defaults from there. That looks like a really good image. You can see what's going to export as a PNG. That's a good widescreen image that will load really well into iMovie. Okay, and that's our first one. Now, we make sure we're still on the selection tool. Move down about halfway down the ball, or maybe a little more, about halfway down. There's our second image, and we go to export. And all you need to do is hit the right arrow here and get your cursor on that and hit number two and export. So now we've got two images saved. And go halfway down again, keep it nicely centered so, so it stays on the path. I'm using that center piece to keep it aligned here and export. And you can see which ones you've already made so you, so you don't lose track of which number you're on here. There's number three. Okay, we're going to pick back up here. Uh, I've now made several of these and we're getting close to our bouncing surface. So it's going to be time to squash it and stretch it here in, in just a moment. I'm going to move it down one more right onto the, right onto the surface here. And that one, and we're, 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 we haven't squashed yet and we're on the surface. So we're going to export on the surface here. And this one's number nine. So you can see I skipped ahead a little bit here. Okay, now now's the, now's the time for our first squash, and and uh, and and so by by grabbing just at the edge there, you can drag it out a little bit and drag it down a little bit too, so you can see that it's squashing there and keeping it nicely centered there. So there, so so there's our there's our squash, and let's export that. And that's number ten. Okay. Now we want to get back actually to. A previous one here and so we're going to hit command Z a couple of times till we get back to our round one here and that's and and that's coming back up but it's going to stretch here in just a minute so I'm going to export that as number 11 And now it's time to stretch it as it as it goes back up. 
and there's our there there's our stretch there so we've now successfully squashed and stretched this and there's our exported number 12 and that's all the ones we need we can reuse the ones on the way down for the way back up and those are all of the illustrator files that we will need to animate so that's enough of the simple animation here I will do another tutorial to show how to import those into iMovie and animate them. Thanks, students, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.